YouTube, I'm Elric, this is Kevin Kenson, and you're on Tech of Tomorrow. And what are you doing here on Tech of Tomorrow today? Well, today, we're going to first off introduce Kevin Kenson. Folks, welcome Kevin Kenson to the show. He's going to be doing all that PC gaming stuff that you guys have been asking for. You guys said, hey, we hate the over-the-shoulder view. Mm -hmm. Don't like that. Don't like it when we record with fraps. So we're going to take it a step further. Got this thing right here. Avermedia live gamer card so kevin is going to take this system which we're building and we're going to build a system totally geared around kevin doing game footage and capturing it bringing you guys ultimate in-depth reviews and walkthroughs and all kinds of good gaming stuff right kevin yes and if you guys didn't catch it my name is kevin i don't know if you mentioned that i did mention that a couple times i think four or five times okay look i know i'm getting old kevin kenson he's from tld today their another channel that's affiliated with us, and uh, he's been doing stuff over there for a lot of time. Yep, that's right. On TLD today, you normally do a lot of uh, console game reviews as well as some different iDevice games, but PC really isn't something we've jumped in on, and given the opportunity now, really wanted to start doing more reviews on especially PC exclusive titles that we've been missing out on. So now Kevin's going to be a cross dresser. I mean, a cross platform user. Well, this will be my like Sunday best while I'm here, and then at TLD, I'll be in my formal attire. Ah, that's okay. Yeah. So I hope you guys appreciate Kevin in his knickers. Just saying. So check it out, we've got all of these parts out here. And on this time, we didn't really try to you know, stay within any kind of budget. We really just tried to determine what would be the absolute best system for playing games and getting that footage to you guys. So first off, we'll start with the case. We got the CM Storm Scout 2 Mid Tower case coming in at $80. Next up is the motherboard. This is the MSI Z87 GD65 gaming motherboard coming in at $180. For the CPU, we went Haswell. Why not? Intel i7-4770K 3.4 gigahertz quad core CPU coming to market at about $340. For memory, we've got 16 gigabytes of ADATA XPG V2 DDR3 1600 megahertz memory coming at about $140. You guys can see this is some really classy looking stuff. As far as the cooler goes, we want to keep it simple. We use the Corsair H55 120mm liquid CPU cooler, which is $90. The video card also matches the motherboard. That's right, so we got some color coordination down here. Don't ever say we don't have style. We've got the MSI GTX 780 Twin Frozer 3GB video card coming into market at about $670. Like we were saying earlier, the Avermedia C985 Live Gamer HD Capture Card is what we're going to use to capture all of our footage. Now this thing's pretty reasonably priced considering what it can do. It's $180 right now. Now folks, we know that NVIDIA is going to have their new Shadow Play coming out. And it'll capture video, but it's only on NVIDIA cards. And in Fair Play, we want to be able to capture stuff from AMD or NVIDIA without any compromise. Continuing with the parts. For the power supply, we use the XFX Pro 750 watt 80 plus bronze power supply. This thing comes in a market about $130 and supports both Crossfire and SLI configurations. This system's gonna have a multitude of devices for storage due to the fact that it's going to be a system for rendering. Now for our standard boot drive, we have a 256 gigabyte ADATA SP900 SSD. You guys have all talked about this, said it's one of your favorite and fastest drives. We used it. It's coming to market at about $200. For just to store all of the games on, we're going to use the Western Digital 1TB Black 7200 RPM hard drive. This thing's about $90 and is actually the most commonly used hard drive in gaming systems the world around. Next up are the drives that we're going to be storing all the information of the games, you know, all the footage doing the editing off of. And these are a pair of Western Digital 1TB RED hard drives. Now the RED series of drives are made to be ran in RAID, and we're gonna be setting these up in a RAID 0 configuration. These drives for the pair come to market at about $160. For the optical drive, which you don't really need, but since we're gonna install it off the CD, we're gonna to have to go old school. We have the ASUS 24X DVD RW optical drive coming to market at about $25. Now, last up, you guys have all said that it's not a system unless it has Windows on it. So last up, Windows 8 Pro at about $130. Now, this whole system was about, Kevin, by almost $2,500. Bucks, yep, just under $2,500. But that's like current pricing. Things fluctuate all the time. Like, you might be able to find something on sale and something may rise up. 
Now, you guys also might be interested in buying this system and making one for yourself. If you guys want to, down there below that like button, which I know that you guys are gonna go like crazy, hostile, maybe even go what they call, you know, medieval on it. If you know the movie, you guys know the reference, let me hear it in the comment section. So I'm Eric. And I'm Kevin. And we'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow. Also, if you guys don't wanna make sure you miss out anything, you guys wanna make sure you hit this sub button back over here behind me. Also, if you guys wanna see Kevin reviewing a bunch of other stuff, he does stuff on Xbox 360, PlayStation, all that. He's doing that over on TLD, our sister site. So if you guys wanna check him out, bounce over. That'll also be down there in the description below. So we'll see you guys back here in the channel for more gaming action soon. And we're gonna have a full blown time-lapse video of the system being built. Look out for that. And then Kevin's gonna get the system bring you guys a review of how it's working, gaming, and then it'll start bringing you guys gaming stuff. Right, sir? That is if I don't disappear after getting it and just lose myself in the internet and games. Oh, I thought we built a dungeon for him. Did we build a dungeon for him? No? No. All right, see you later.